Every wild animal on this planet deserves to be treated with caution and respect. Even animals that we view as being friendly have the potential to be dangerous and even deadly. And if you see a large animal in the wild, the best thing to do is view it from a distance. For one reason or another, there are certain animals that we see as being friendly, and certain animals we view as being very dangerous. But really, most animals have the potential to be dangerous, and they should be treated all the same. Generally, peaceful animals still have the potential to be killers, and I have already made two videos on this topic. In this video, I will be delving into more stories where peaceful animals have turned deadly, as I will be going through three supposedly friendly animals that have become killers. And for our first species, we will be heading to Central and South America, as we have the giant anteater. Now, the giant anteater is one of four living species of anteaters, and it is the largest member. As you might be able to guess from its name, it mostly feeds on insects, and it is perfectly adapted to prey on these creatures. It has a tongue that can measure 60 centimeters in length, and this tongue is covered in spines and also sticky saliva. Despite what their name may suggest, they don't only feed on ants as they will also feed on termites and bees. They are usually found in the savannas of Central and South America, and they spend most of their day searching out termite mounds and ant hills. When they find what they are looking for, they will start digging, and then use their tongue to lap up all the insects. It's thought that giant anteaters can eat up to 30,000 ants and termites in a day, and they get most of the moisture that they need from their diet. For the most part, giant anteaters are very slow-moving creatures, and they definitely live life in the slow lane. That's why it may not be shocking to learn that they have a very slow metabolic rate, and one of the lowest body temperatures of any mammal at around 32 degrees Celsius. These creatures are typically solitary animals, and they only really come together during the mating season. When the female is ready, she will give birth standing up, and for the first part of their lives, the young will hang on the mother's back. The giant anteater is a very unique and iconic American animal, but just like many other large and beautiful animals across the world, it is also threatened with extinction. It's currently listed as vulnerable, and there are many reasons behind this. In some areas across their range, they are hunted for food, and in other areas, they are seen as a pest. In recent years, they have also been poached for the illegal trade of their body parts, and it really is a shame that we treat such a beautiful animal this way. If you were a poacher and you decided to fight the giant anteater one on one, it may be the last thing that you ever do. Although they are generally slow moving and peaceful animals, if threatened, they are more than capable of killing a human. When cornered, these animals tend to stand on two legs and hold their arms out either side of them. This T pose is a way of making them look far bigger than they are, and it also means that they are ready to use their claws. Anteater attacks on humans are very rare, but there have been a few fatalities over the years. Between 2010 and 2012, two hunters were killed by giant anteaters, and in 2007, a zookeeper was killed by a giant anteater in Argentina. In a case in 2012, a 47-year-old man cornered a giant anteater, and this anteater decided to defend itself. At first, the hunter wanted to shoot the anteater, but this hunter had his dogs with him and he didn't want to accidentally shoot his dogs. Instead, the hunter opted for a knife, and he eventually approached the giant anteater. Before the hunter could make a move, the anteater grabbed him, and it was a long time before the creature let him go. After the altercation was over, the hunter bled to death at the scene, and an autopsy revealed that he had severe damage to his left femoral artery. This artery is really a weak spot of the human body, and as I've covered in previous videos, this is a common way to die when attacked by animals. So if you do happen to see this creature in the wild, you should treat it with respect, and you really shouldn't try to fight it. But for our next group of animals, we will be heading over to Australia, as our next story involves a kangaroo. Kangaroos are marsupials in the family Macropodidae, and the term kangaroo is usually used to describe the largest species in this family. These four species are the red kangaroo, the antilopine kangaroo, the eastern grey kangaroo, and the western kangaroo. The red kangaroo is the largest species, and can have a head and body length of around 1.6 meters. Although it is the largest species, it is not the species that I will be focusing on in this video, because instead our story includes a western grey kangaroo. Kangaroos are the largest living marsupials on this planet, and they are very well adapted to the Australian ecosystem. Kangaroos can be found all across Australia, but they generally prefer flat open plains. In these areas, they mostly feed on grasses, ferns, flowers and fruit, but of course they do have to look out for predators. 
Historically, they were targeted by thylacine and marsupial lions, but today they are mostly targeted by dingoes and also introduced species such as foxes, cats, and feral dogs. Even though kangaroos and wallabies are mammals, their reproduction and life cycle is quite different to most other mammals. Instead of giving birth to relatively large young, when a kangaroo is born, it is blind, hairless, and only a few centimeters long. These bean-sized creatures will grow very quickly and may eventually turn into giants. Most of the time, kangaroos and wallabies are quite peaceful creatures and often do their best to avoid humans. Of course, there are some exceptions to this rule and some large males are known for being extremely aggressive. They will often fight and box each other over females and territory, and sometimes these fights can prove fatal, either through injury or through drowning. In some cases, they don't only limit their fighting to other kangaroos, but they will also target us humans. Even though fatal kangaroo attacks are rare, there has been a few over the years, with one of the most recent cases being in 2022. In September of last year, a 77-year-old man was found at his home with serious injuries, but strangely, he was not alone. The first person to find the man was a relative, and then this relative called an ambulance. When the crew arrived, a kangaroo stood over the man's body and prevented them from treating him. Police say they were then forced to shoot the marsupial, and after this, the paramedics eventually reached him. Unfortunately, the man died at the scene, and it appeared that the kangaroo had killed him. The 77-year-old man had been keeping this kangaroo as a pet, and he had been keeping it illegally. It really is a shame that both the man and the kangaroo are no longer with us, and this is just another reason why you shouldn't keep wild animals as pets. And for our final story, we will be heading over to a pond outside of Chicago, as our next story involves a swan. Now, as swans are such common creatures, I don't think I need to go into too much depth in explaining what a swan is. One of the largest species of swan is the trumpeter swan, and one of the most striking species is the black swan. As swans are relatively common, they're often seen as pests, but they really are quite beautiful birds. They're perfectly adapted to wetland ecosystems, and despite being very large, they are quite elegant flyers. I have to admit that not all people would agree that swans are friendly creatures, but it is possible to feed them and interact with them. Some swan species are more aggressive than others, but overall, swans do have a reputation for being aggressive. In most cases, their aggression and power is overblown, as there's a very popular myth that a swan can break your arm. This is of course impossible because as I previously mentioned, they can fly, and to be able to fly, you need to be lightweight. The swan's body and bones are extremely lightweight, and it would be almost impossible for them to break your arm. Despite this, they can cause injury and they can be quite mean, as famously there was one mean swan in Castle Pond in Pembroke, who managed to kill at least 20 other swans. These birds don't only limit their aggression to other swans, as they will also target humans. This is exactly what happened to a 37-year-old man back in 2012, when he was attacked while kayaking in a pond outside of Chicago. The swan caused him to capsize his kayak, and he fell into the freezing water. After the initial hit, the swan kept attacking, and the man succumbed to hypothermia and then drowning. This really was a very rare and unfortunate event, and just really goes to show how aggressive these birds can be. If you know of any other stories like the ones I featured in this video, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.